All right, in this video, we want to learn about email verifications. And we need to do this manually since we created our own authentication system and not used a starter kit. And of course, make sure your email service is set up and we are using mail trap again, just like the previous video. So we are going to follow the steps in Laravel documentation under email verification. They have a nice clean steps that we need to take. So first we need to make sure that our user model is implementing must verify email class. Let's go to our user model and at the very top, we want to implement must verify email. That's all. So that's all we have to do in our user model. The next step is to dispatch this registered event when the users register. So let's go to our auth controller and in our register function, we want to fire up that event. So using the event function, we can use the new registered event. So that is a class that is looking for a user and it will trigger that must verify email. And I'm putting it after the login because the users would not be actually go to the dashboard. They would see a page that says verify your email and we'll do that later. But let's go back to a lot of a documentation. The next step is to make sure our users table has this column emailed verified at and we can check that by going to create users table migration file since we used the default users table we do have that column so we don't need to worry about our database and the migration files it is already set up the way we want so we can move on to the next step which is routing so we need a few routes to handle email verification. The first one is the email verification notice. So we're gonna do this one by one, start by email verification notice. I'm just gonna copy this text and create the route in our web.php. So this is going to be under our authenticated routes, the group that has the middleware auth. I'm gonna make a comment here and say email verification notice route, and then copy everything from Laravel documentation and paste it here. So the route is a get method that is going to email verify and they are passing the handler right in line in this function. We want to actually move this to our auth controller, but for now, let's just leave it. Then they are adding the middleware auth. So we don't need this since we are using a group. And of course the name, these names are important. We don't want to change these names because Laravel automatically looks for these names. And if we change it, we have to do more setup. It's just easier to leave it as it is. So all this route does is returning a view. We just want to cut this function and use our auth controller, then pass the name of a function that would handle this. So let's call it verify email. Then we want to go to our auth controller and actually create that function, maybe right after register. So we want to create a public function and we call it verify email that is returning a verify email view inside the auth folder. So we already have the auth folder, we just have to create the view. So the name is going to be verify-email.blade.php. So this is the view that should notify the user that your email is not confirmed or verified yet. So please go to your email and click on that button. So I'm just going to extend our layout and then add an H1 that says, please verify your email through the email we've sent you. And then I'm going to add some margin bottom here. Then I'm going to add another text here that says, didn't get the email and a question mark. And then we will have a button that says send again. This actually needs to be a proper form, but for now I'm just leaving it as it is. All right, so that is email verification notice route and view. Then we want to go down to the next part, which is email verification handler. So this route is the one that would actually handle the verification. When the user gets the email and they click on the verify email button, they should go to this route and Laravel automatically verify that user's email based on the ID and the hash code that they create themselves. So we don't have to worry about these parts. So what we need to do, again, copy this route, go back to our routes file, then under email verification notice, I'm going to paste it. And of course, add a comment so it's clear what it's doing and we want to go through it. So again, it is a get route that goes through the email verify and then a dynamic ID and the hash. We don't need to worry about it. And the handler function that is fulfilling or resolving that request using the email verification request, which is part of Laravel. Then we have the middleware auth and signed. So we don't need the auth here because we are already inside the group, but we do need the signed. So this is another built-in middleware 
that makes sure this route is signed based on the hash. Then of course the name that we don't want to change it. So what I want to do here, I want to actually change the name of this email verification notice to verify notice and of course change it in our auth controller as well so that down here I can call the function that is actually verifying the email verify email. So again I'm going to cut this handler function, use our auth controller and and the name of the handler function that is going to be verify email. Let's go to auth controller right under verify email notice, paste that function. For now, let's just leave it. I'm going to copy the comment, paste it here. So this is going to be our email verification handler. We want to say public function and we called it verify email. Then we need to import this email verification request. So let's just retype the name and it is going to be imported from auth email verification request. Then we want to redirect them to their dashboard instead of home. So we can just say return redirect then route dashboard. Anyway, that was our second route. Then we go back to documentation and they explain what's going on in that route. But basically Laravel automatically resolve and take care of the validations based on the ID and the hash code. And they do that all behind the scene. Then we have another route for resending the verification email. So sometimes users don't get the verification email and we need to provide an option for them to get the verification once again. So first I'm going to make a comment in our routes file then go back to the documentation and copy everything just like before and go back here. So this time we have a post route and we want to use this for our form and it goes to email verification dash notification and the handler function that is requesting the user then calls this function that would automatically send a verification notification. So again, these are all part of Laravel. We don't have to worry about it. And then it would return back to the same page, which is our verification notice page with a message that says verification link sent. And we have two middlewares. One is auth, which we can get rid of, and the other one, which is throttle. This is used in order to avoid submitting the form so many times. So for example, if the user try to resend the link five, six times over and over and over again, they would get an error and says, please wait a while before you try again. And of course we have the name. So again, what we want to do, we want to move this to our auth controller. So I'm going to copy the comment, then just add the public word here, go back to the web.php, grab this whole function and paste it here and let's give it a name. So I'm going to call it verify handler. So we call this verify notice, verify email, and now verify handler. And now we want to go back to the web.php, use our auth controller, then use that function, verify handler. Now let's go back to the documentation. Next we have protecting our routes. So right now you notice our dashboard is inside the auth middleware. So of course they need to be authenticated in order to access their dashboard. But what we can do before the name method, we can add another middleware and that is verified. So as the name suggests, this route now is protected by verified middleware that would allow only verified users to visit. That means if a user has not verified their emails, they cannot visit dashboard. So we will see this in action in a moment. So back to documentation, we have nothing else except customization. We will get to this later on. This is not really important. So what we need to do before testing is to create a form in our verify email blade template. So let's do a form with the method post and the action should go through this route. So verification.send. So we want to use the route helper function and use verification send route. So let's add the CSRF token. Then we want to place our button inside this form that says send again. So this will automatically send an email to that authenticated user. All right, let's see if we did everything correctly. Let's go to our application. We want to log out and and register with a new user. So I'm just going to call this one a new user with the email new user at email.com. So this doesn't really matter because we are actually getting our emails in our mail trap and then a password. Then we want to register, but it's going to take some time since it is going to send an email. So press register. You notice the page is loading. And when that is done, we are directed to our verify notice page that says, please verify your email through the email we've sent you. If you didn't get the email, then press on this button. Now let's check mail trap. We did actually get an email and this is the default email verification from Laravel with the subject verify email address to new user at email from 
our email and the body of that email that is just says click on this button to verify your email before we do that let's go to our database and select everything from users table so i have this new user right and you notice under email verify at it says null at the moment so now let's click on this button in our email see what happens this will open a new tab and redirect us to the dashboard now let's go back to the database and select everything from users again you notice i have a date here now that is the date i verified my email so it is working properly now let's test other things so i'm going to log out again then register a new user this time i'm going to call him mike and a three two one then i'm going to press register it's going to take some time of course we are now again redirected to that notice page and we got the email but let's ignore this email and pretend we didn't get that email let's press this send again all right so that is done back to mail trap we have the new email right here so that is working too now remember we said our dashboard is now protected by a verified middleware meaning if we try to go to forward slash dashboard like this we get please verify your email before you try to access this page even if we log out and log in again with the user we just created and press login again we are back to that page and the only way to get to dashboard is through this verified email address so now we are in our dashboard so we can actually go to our post controller and at the very top where we declare the middlewares we can add the verified middleware alongside with this auth one so i'm going to pass an array here and say auth and verified so that means creating a post deleting or updating a post all of those methods are protected with this verified middleware all right so that's all we have to do in terms of creating a verification system for our authentication system now we are doing all of this just to learn but if we use a starter kit from laravel all of this would be handled behind the scenes so we don't have to do any of this now as the last point we want to see how we can customize this email this email already looks great but we can customize it the way we want so let's go back to the documentation and at the very bottom we have customization all we have to do is to call this method in our boot function which is inside app service provider so let's copy this method maybe close everything here then in our app folder providers we have app service provider and then in the boot function we want to paste that block of code so we need to import verify email from notification then we need to import mail message from messages so make sure these two are imported and all we have to do here is to add our own custom view these properties subject line actions these are actually components from laravel for instance this subject of course is referring to this subject up here this line is referring to this line and action is referring to the button so these properties if we control click on them it'll take us to the simple message.php which is under this directory up here but you notice we have all these different properties that we can use and laravel has defined a default markup for these ones but we can change this so let's just get rid of these two last lines and add the view function which would take a view we don't have it yet so let's just leave it empty and then the data we want to use in our view we want to pass an array and then use that url in our view this one so this url is the one that we see down here and is also attached to this button so let's create a view for it under resources views we already have an email from previous video i just want to create a new file and call it email verification message .php. then let's have a div here with an h1 that says please verify your email by clicking on the button below and then we will have an anchor tag for the href we want to use our url variable so since this is an email we want to add our own styles and i want to keep this very simple because adding styles like this it would take forever and i just want to add background blue and text white so it's clear it's a button and of course we can include as much information as we want here and it's always a good idea to include the link as a text like this so they can copy paste it in a new tab sometimes the button doesn't work anyway that is our view and we want to use this inside the view function in our boot function which is inside app service provider so we want to go inside emails then email verification message or whatever name you used and let's change the subject to let's add please to make some changes and let's test this out i'm going to register with a new user so with this information press register it's going to take some time again and we get to our notice page let's go to mail trap we get our email you notice the subject is different and we get 
that custom view that we just created, which looks really bad. But if we click on this button, it should verify the email that works. So this is how you can pass a custom view for your email verification system. And that's all we have to do to create an email verification system with a custom view. But before we end this video, I just want to add a bit of JavaScript to our application. So when you click on a form, that takes a long time to process. We want to disable the button and so on. So this is not about Laravel, it's just about JavaScript. And I'm just gonna copy paste these and then I'll explain it very quickly. So I added this script and I'm using Alpine.js since we used Alpine.js for our navigation. Basically, I just created this custom function that I can attach it to any form and it would disable the button and it will add some classes and also an icon which is from font awesome so i also added the cdn up here and then after all of that it would submit the form so all i have to do is to add these attributes to the form that i want to use so i'm going to go to our register page and then paste those attributes that is just a handler for the form and also prevent the default then i need to add the xref attribute to the button that belongs to that form so again this is part of javascript and alpine.js and we just want to focus on laravel in this course let's register a new user so I'm gonna use a different user just to see if this button works, register. So I apply some classes in JavaScript and this is what we see. And of course we get the email for the user we just created. And of course this code will be available on GitHub. So that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed it and this has been helpful. Thanks for watching, bye.